Hey everybody, we got the new version of Real Racing 3 available to download now, both on iOS and on Android. Uh, and of course, as always, upon uh, downloading, once you launch the game, there will be additional uh, downloads, as you can see here, that you would have to get. Now, while we're waiting for the download to complete, let's talk about uh, this new version, 9.6, the Formula One Season 3 update. Because there's a lot to unpack in this one. Because um, uh, I think there's a, some serious overhaul of the game that has taken place with this release. I feel like they could have gone with a version 10, but since it's not a new year, they are still going with a decimal point update here, so it's just going to be called 9.6. But nevertheless, as uh, you know by now, the events archives or events archive is a thing of the past now. It did expire uh, with the version 9.5. So um, at the moment, there is no way to access some of those older events. We'll see if they uh, reintroduce some way to re-access those in the future. But uh, yeah, we need more update uh, or more downloads here. Uh, but uh, from what I read on the release notes of the version 9.6, they are kind of reorganizing. So we're going to get this uh, new thing called the Round Hub. And basically in the past, you know how like time trial competitions and limited time series show up on the home screen while the special events would take uh, show up on a different tab or different screen in the game. So basically they are kind of consolidating all those special events to... Um, take place in one location called the Round Hub, which I believe is going to be on the main home screen. So that's one of the overhaul. And then um, they're introducing this new point system called Victory Point, VP. And by participating in this um, special events and weekly time trials, uh, I think they will have uh, things that's spelled out in the round hub where they tell us how many, how much of those points that we earn by participating in this variety of events. And uh, so it, I was a little concerned initially um, that uh, that's yet another like in-game currency type of things. Uh, that we have to manage but it seems like it's just uh, if you just do what you normally do you know uh, it's like an uh, kind of like an XP point uh, the uh, fame points kind of deal so you will just naturally um, accrue those points and once you um, get to a certain point you earn certain bonus it could be uh, currency like a gold bonus or motorsport dollar bonus I don't know if they're gonna have racing dollar bonus because that's everybody kind of understand that's kind of pointless at this point point. Um, and uh, uh, I, at least from what I can tell in season one which is the version 9.6 they will have a grand prize of a new Audi so that is something to kind of look forward to but uh, speak, speaking of new things uh, here we go let's uh, now that the game has loaded up let's check it out so welcome to seasons welcome to seasons and the new round the hub right as I was saying find all new events in the one place and earn exclusive rewards including new cars as you participate so they are literally giving us participation awards it sounds like and the splash screen, that's the new Lamborghini Sion, isn't it? Anywho, we'll have to, uh, once we get to the main game screen, we'll find out. 
more detail on what this is all about. But uh, for now, uh, 2021 F1 R3 Esports Global Challenge. So this, I'd assume, is sort of like the Formula One Academy car, but it's maybe like the real racing three spec, like R3 spec. <laughs> um, the race uh, for amazing real world prizes begins with the F1 R3 Esports Global Challenge. All right, so there must be a special event. Earn a earn the Formula One R3 Esports Challenger. Then set the fastest time in the time trial competition. All right, so that is pretty cool. Uh, let me take a look at the release note here and see when that is. So first thing first, in terms of event-wise, the what's the event? Esports Global Global Challenge. All right, so looks like that is the first special event because that uh, start date is the pretty much the download date here. And the event itself, uh, once you initiate it, it is going to run five days. So I'm assuming five stages. And the reward includes this uh, Formula One R3 Esports Challenger. I'm going to call it the R3 Spec Formula One Academy car. And that's just as long and wordy. Never mind. <laughs> Esports Challenger. Yeah. And the 100 million, or not 100 million, 100,000. 100 million would be nice. No, 100,000 motorsport dollars, 20 gold, and 7,800 victory points. So that looks like the first event to start accumulating some of that victory points they are, they have mentioned in the game. All right, and the PR requirement is 122.9. All right, and well, what's the base PR for this guy? Uh, it is starting at 110.3. Maxes out at 124.5. The car itself is worth 2 million motorsport dollars. All right, so that sounds a bit pricier than the, the Academy ones that we used to get. And... Uh, We'll see if it performs any better. But obviously there is the time trial competition. And when is that running? That is going to run from the August 7th through August 23rd. So um, gold rewards and some 1200 victory points for participating. So and it's not loaned so you have to win this car if you want to participate in it interesting or you have to buy it i guess for two million uh motorsport dollars so yeah it sounds like uh they're trying to you know push us to win this car obviously there's 7800 victory points that you get to collect from uh completing the series or participating in that series so I guess, uh, yeah, well, you know, you know what I think. You should always try to win these cars. And then the special event car that is not motorsports, Lamborghini Sian FKP37. All right, so meet the hybrid powered bull from Bologna, the Lamborghini Sian. Earn this incredible car for yourself in Hybrid Highway, a new seven day special event. Ooh, we haven't had a seven day. Uh, length special event in a while so that's gonna be fun uh, so that one first day to initiate that seven day uh, countdown of the event is gonna be August 8th Sunday and uh, for, uh, for completing the event you get to of course win the car uh, which is how much is this car normally it is worth 750 gold so it sounds like it's gonna be a elite class car uh, base PR goes from 67.5 fully maxed out goes all the way up to 85.9 yeah I would say that's kind of um, along the I would say that's a elite class and let's see 
um, in terms of the special event um, hybrid highway yeah so you get to win the car that's worth 750 gold plus 100 gold and 250,000 racing dollars and 10,000 victory points all right so when they promise you 100 gold and the car is worth 750 gold so most likely um i have a feeling this uh this seems like um no pr requirement like old-fashioned special events so if you are good you could probably win this car with a very little amount of resources spent um but uh if i may presume the recommended pr kind of the thing i'd assume it's gonna cost you most likely somewhere in 400 500 gold range to um have the you know pr up to what they recommend which means you don't have to uh generally if you're somewhat experienced in the game you could win a lot of these special event cards for less than what they recommend or lower than recommended pr so save a few um gold or you know something but uh yeah so that is that and of course once the event is available i'll have the playthrough so um if you guys are interested you can definitely uh, subscribe and check that out when the event unlocks because that doesn't happen obviously till august 8th and of course the main event of this version formula one 2021 season we got some uh new teams or newly dressed old team <laughs> right so head to silverstone oh by the way uh silverstone I believe is getting a new uh, evening variant so that is kind of fun um, not that it's gonna make that big of a difference but uh, from what I read about this up uh, this version new upgrade uh, the game is getting kind of a visual overhaul so um, I am told the tracks are gonna look much better I mean, I never had a complaint about the way the tracks look, but apparently it's going to look even better than it did in the past. So that is always exciting to hear. Um, but uh, I don't believe there is a new track being added, at least not in this version. That's going to be a 10.0 release, I'm assuming, because they usually introduce a new track, new circuit with the big upgrade. Um, so... All right, so with the 9.6, this release, uh, we're getting uh, the British Grand Prix, right, Silverstone. And in subsequent releases, uh, 9.7 and on, I'm assuming that we'll get the remaining uh, Grand Prix events to win more Formula One cars. So choose your driver and take on the competition in the 2021 Formula One Pirelli British Grand Prix. All right, so... That should be fun and then this is the that special car you can only earn by uh, racking up your victory points right the 2020 audi rs5 coupe so this car is not available for sale nor is there a uh, an event that you can run to win it this one you win by uh, essentially it's as a exclusive reward with the victory points so yeah um basically participation awards apparently so I, and i'm assuming there would be a separate bonus series to run this car in i don't know how would that work and uh, of course <laughs> we gotta get the 911 rsr right i mean real racing three without 911 RSR what would it be like uh, so anyway we're getting the new one from the year 2021 the current uh, year the latest 
iteration of a Le Mans legend speed, speeds into Real Racing 3. Make some room in your garage for the new 2021 Porsche 911 RSR. Okay. It'll have to squeeze into the rest of the Porsche section of the garage. Um, speaking of the garage organization, I know they were doing like this whole separate thing for motorsport category and the road collection category and all that. But I feel like that really does, does not do what you think it they were hoping it would do because I feel like whenever I'm looking for a car it takes me more steps to do what I used to be able to do before they reorganize the garage so I think the garage or garage um, access still requires some revamping I still find that interface to be rather clunky and un user unfriendly or unuser friendly you know so that one I think needs a I uh, they you know they tried but uh, kind of fell flat in my opinion. So that one I think they need to revamp. I mean I appreciate the you know like service cars requiring service having separate box that you can access but that's about all it's good for. Beyond that if I want to like pick a car I have to like go through extra steps to do it you know just like you still have to go through the manufacturer's screen, which is kind of frustrating, in my opinion. Anyway, and then we're getting two limited time series, one for the new Porsche 911 RSR, and then the other one for a legacy car, 2019 McLaren Senna. Did we win that originally with the limited time series? I cannot remember. Was it a track day? I don't know. It's been a while. So, it was pre-pandemic. So, that's a long time ago. It seems like forever, right? So, uh, when is that happening? Well, let's find out. The 911 RSR Limited Time Series is going to run from 22nd of August through September 6th. So, it's a seven-day run. Uh, of course, PR requirement is 77.8. As in, of course, as in there is a PR requirement, you win the car. Uh, how much is, what is this car worth? Uh, it's a motorsport dollar car. Just under 2 million motorsport dollars. So it's 1,950,000 motorsport dollars. Uh, PR goes from base of 63.7, maxed out at 83. So um, does that mean we don't have to worry about the whole driver and uh team principal business with this rendition of 911 RSR because the last years we did didn't we right so yeah I don't really like having to manage those extra stuff um, so I'm assuming it's just a straight up get your upgrades and go so spend 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 all right um, but anyway for Completing that limited time series, you will win the car, 50 gold and 200,000 motorsport dollars and some 5,250 victory points. So, all right. And uh, the other limited time series, McLaren Senna. You get to win the car, 100 gold and 200,000 racing dollars and... Once again, 5,250 victory points. So that seems like the number of victory points we get for completing a limited time series. All right. And that one all uh, will run from August 29th through September 6th. So the two limited time series, if I'm not mistaken, are going to have an overlapping time. But uh, that seems... A bit off oh I see I see limited time series they are giving you a time to start and then you have seven days to complete it but those seven days you can start anytime after August 22nd for the 911 Porsche uh, the Porsche 911 RSR limited time series and for McLaren Senna limited time series that uh, time 
that you can start the limited time series is the August 29th. And then uh, you have seven days to complete it. And then last day to start is the September 6th, which I believe is what they call the end of the season. So, yeah. So those are the type of things that I'm going to have to get used to with this new version. Uh, sort of a new structure to the game. So limited time series. They're allowing a little bit more flexibility with uh, when you can run it. So you have a little bit more control over the timing. Anyway, then we got an exclusive series, a single one uh, for the car that was introduced in the last version, Lotus Avaya. So yeah, you would have to fully upgrade it, that car to unlock that exclusive series, which is gonna cost you quite a bit of gold. And for having access to that exclusive series, what can you earn? Whopping 125 gold. Oh boy, that's a slap in the face. Man, yeah. <laughs> and 250,000 racing dollars. Meh, is what I'm gonna say. Anyway, well, let's check out the uh, new cars. All right, what do we got? Hooray! Upgrades for Veyron are complete, but uh, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, and uh, looks like the the other Le Mans legend from 2016 that went up against the Ford Le Mans GT here. Um, Ferrari 488 GTE is on sale this week, looks like. But uh, no, we'll pass on that one for now. More download, just quick 15 megabytes. And we'll check out the new cars. All right, to start off, we got Porsche 911 RSR, the new 2021 edition, and earn this car free by completing the limited time series, right. And uh, can you actually just buy it? It's not crossed out or grayed out. Oh yeah, look at that. Eh, if you wanted to, you could just buy it. But uh, yeah, when you can earn it, you should earn it. Don't spend it. All right, and then the other new car we got here, Lamborghini Sian FKP37. All right, and this one is locked. So you have to win this car by completing the special event, Hybrid Highway. All right. And, ah, the R3 spec, right. Esports Challenger. All right, so this one is also locked. Uh, this one is normally what? Uh, they were saying two million? Motorsport dollars, all right. Uh, base PR 110.3 goes all the way up to 124.5. So that's definitely higher than uh, the regular Academy Formula One car from the past. And uh, to win this car, you have to complete the eSports Global Challenge Special Event, which is of course the first special event that will be uh, that is going to be unlocked as soon as uh, you download the game. All right, and then the, I'm assuming the remainder is going to be the ten new uh, Formula One cars. So first of all, we got the new team, or is that should we call it the redressed Renault? Right, Alpine is Renault essentially, I think. Um, and Alonso is returning to drive uh, for Alpine. So, all right. And the 2021 season, or the season three in Real Racing 3, the Formula One cars are in three PR categories. So, uh, they vary from uh, 100. 15.9 uh, is the top tier, down to 115.5 for the bottom tier. So this one, smack in the middle, 115.7 is the mid tier, which is 
yeah, I mean, that is kind of like Renault, right? So anyway, that is the first one. All right, and Red Bull Racing RB16B, as you might expect, it's the top tier PR car, 115.9, right? And these cars are worth 2.5 million motorsport dollars. And once again, if you wanted to, you can just buy them. But uh, when you can earn it, why would you buy it, right? So, all right. And then the sister team to real um, Red Bull Racing. We got Alpha Tori AT02. And this one is going to be mid tier PR racer 115.7 and another mid-tier racer we got here ferrari sf21 all right and of course these uh formula one cars you do have to manage the driver xp and the team principal xp of course driver xp you uh gain by racing and then team principal XP you gain by purchasing um, what do they call it the tuning setups right from special events or Grand Prix events all right so the top tier racer of course Mercedes AMG F1 W12 all right so that is that and then uh, we got a the low bottom tier 115.5 base PR racer from team Haas so yeah with the sporting some new livery with the new uh, sponsors right and then another uh, low tier the base PR 115.5 racer Alfa Romeo Racing C41 all right And then we got McLaren, which is the mid-tier racer, 115.7. This year, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, of course, has joined McLaren. Thanks to uh, Carlos Sainz uh, vacating the seat to head on over to Ferrari. Um, so yeah, some uh, musical chairs happening uh, this season. Uh, Lando is still with McLaren so that's cool Lando Norris and uh, Aston Martin I believe this is the with the yeah racing point right so uh, Lance Stroll and company right so and this team sits with this uh, unique PR base PR of 115.6 so that's different so yeah Aston Martin uh, putting their name in uh, this time officially as uh, as a team as opposed to uh, riding on the wings of Red Bull Racing right which was the case in the past and of course George Russell and company in Team Williams FW 4033B and yeah the team is gonna be racing the lower tier base PR racer at 115.5 PR all right and uh, what do we have left where's one more ah the victory point car right Audi RS5 coupe base PR 33.3 and uh, yeah I don't think this car is available for purchase at all this one you have to win by earning enough victory points in uh, round one of season one I'm not sure what that means I guess we'll find out what that means so all right so concluded blah 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 yeah I guess I have to collect the weekly time trial rewards uh, without the season uh, the week that I ran without owning a car that was featured so this one <laughs> whopping 
rank F for some 13 gold. As they say, don't spend it all, all at one place, right? <laughs> all right, so there's a, quite a bit of information to unpack here. All right, so now at the bottom, we are uh, consolidated to just five tabs. All right, so the team or the online multiplayer category gets its own... Uh, screen weekly time trial is still going to get its own screen and the team events uh, they're apparently still working out the um, way to get the team events go get going without uh, getting hacked by hackers all the time so no content there yet and then the home screen we got this uh, event or, or the round hub that's a big uh, rectangle we got here that says season one championship and then round one let's say tap anywhere on the championship card to enter the round hub all right and then the usual you got the community video tab and then the this week's weekly time trial tab and the daily race has earned a new spot on the sort of the spine of the screen here and looks like uh, Formula E and that's kind of fun they give us a little uh, trek map so with the German flag pretty cool and then the R3 screen what does that do uh, that gets us the actual race tabs so we got motorsports now very uh skinny no those are same never mind so we got the motorsports road collection and the whichever car that you have chosen you get to race so this race screen used to be on the main home screen now it's been migrated to this uh, right side tab all right and obviously the screen color scheme is all new so that's kind of fun it looks pretty sharp I gotta admit and then uh, let's see what we got going here right the 2019 911 RSR sale has been going on since uh, a few days ago all right and then the, do we get any boost in daily earning possibilities no it's still 250,000 motorsport dollars cap and looks like still 5 million cap on the uh, lifetime if you will or all time and uh, let's see let's check out the garage so still this uh, less than helpful uh, screen and uh, here's a new thing though so if you have a card chosen you can tap on that little round uh, screen to access the series the cars featured in right away so that is a nice little nifty feature so I like where they are going and that shows you exactly how many series a car is featured in so that's pretty cool but you know if you want to look at like a uh, car then you have to essentially get into this uh, what they call garage filter anyway so that is uh, less than inviting isn't it so here let's check out the Volkswagen IDR and so shock and awe of course is the bonus series the cars featured in and the exclusive series yeah it's locked so I cannot do anything about that one and then fully upgrade right yeah this car is pretty pricey to fully upgrade uh, all right so that's that and uh, and if I tap on this does it take me straight to I guess the the race category or the particular series yeah so it takes you right to the series category and uh, all right 
And oh, look at that, season one in road collection. Own any road car in season one. Ah, oh, this must be the, that Audi the, that you have to earn from earning your victory points. All right, and the uh, new Lambo. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be in legend section, not legend, elite section of the game. Um, let's see, I should just look at the release notes here. And it is going to be in, no, it's gonna be the location, they call it the season one. The Bulls of Bologna. Interesting. So it's not gonna be in this part of the game? That's kind of weird. Isn't it? So the Bulls of Bologna series is not in here. You find it in here. Interesting. Alright. So that's a different. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> uh, tap anywhere on the channel. Okay, let's check out this new hub business. The seasonal Championship is now the home of real racing special events. Take on the competition in a new in a race weekend in your favorite motorsport series, or earn some of the hottest road cars on the planet. Thanks. All right, so what do we got? The event schedule for the round is displayed here. Tap on an event for more information. So weekly time trial right there. And then, ah, this is the, the R3 eSports Global Challenge thing where we get to earn that uh, R3 spec Formula One Academy car, right? So, uh top left corner we got rounds last for a limited amount of time once this round ends you can no longer enter the events scheduled below ah okay so that's uh the, looks like the duration of the this version 9.6 and uh okay you can view all rewards on offer for the selected special events by tapping on this card. Ah, okay, so that one shows you um, total rewards. And uh, I don't know what the timer is, 37, 40, 50, huh. You get to earn the four, uh, R3 Esports Challenger, 7,800 victory points, 20 gold, and more. More is not very helpful though. All right, back to the, the other side. Events in the round hub will award victory points, VP, for participation. VP unlocks bonus rewards for your claim, for you to claim. Tap here to view this round's rewards. <sighs> ah, okay, so these are all the rewards available. 700 points, you win you some whopping two or 20,000 racing dollars. Okay, so they do have a racing dollar earning. Once you hit a thousand, you get to earn 15,000 motorsport dollars. So that's worth something. And then once you get to 18,000 victory points, 25 goals. So now we're talking. And then 2,800 uh, is another racing dollar bonus. This seems like kind of like a I wonder if this is replacing the daily bonus. I don't know. Maybe the daily bonus is still going to be a thing and this is going to be on top of that. 4,100 uh, victory points reward you 20,000 motorsport dollars. And there is a one hour free and instant service on all cars. So that's a service sale. Once you hit 5,400 uh, victory points, you have to like, I'd assume you have to trigger it so it doesn't like just kick in by itself. Um, and then 6,800 victory points get you another racing dollar reward, 30,000. So that's not that big of a deal. 25,000 for motorsport dollars at 8,300. Yeah, you get the point here. So you get a 10% off on a car. That's not really that great of a sale, is it now? 
what kind of sale is 10% off? Come on, for 12 hours? I'll let that expire, most likely. And another racing dollar bonus, motorsport dollars, 50 gold. Another racing dollars, another motorsport dollar uh, reward. And then next one is going to be two hour instant service. And yeah, service uh, so on all cars. So two hours, okay, it's worth something. Um, could come in clutch when you're running through some of those special events course and then more racing dollars more sport dollars. yeah these racing dollar bonuses are kind of I don't know pointless if you ask me and the racers choice this one's gonna be 20% off so that's still only about as good as your uh, what do you call that um, the 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 showcase discount right and then more racing dollar reward and more motorsport dollars is 50 gold the max that you get to earn okay so 50 we just get multiple instances of 50 gold rewards i see and then more racing dollars more motorsport dollars and then there's the grand prize audi rs5 coupe the, the car right and then there's more racing dollars and motorsport dollars and interestingly enough the top rewards is less than what you earned prior to just 25 gold at the end interesting uh, here are the rewards on offer for this round when you earned enough victory points be sure to come back here to claim your rewards so you have to come back here to earn it but I guess it's main screen so um, not a big deal and you can enter the currently selected special event by tapping this button <laughs> it says start start your first event to earn victory points and it is the esports global challenge five stage event no i'm not ready to start quite yet so because that's gonna start the five day countdown so and then uh looks like we got actually a full calendar of the special events in this season so obviously weekly time trial runs weekly and then the first one that's currently available is the uh that uh global challenge esport global challenge formula one right and then we got the british grand prix which unlocks in um question mark question mark ah that's because you have to earn the this car first from this uh, event got it and then uh, you win 1200 uh, victory points right and then in four days and 24 uh, 22 hours this event will unlock that's of course the special event to win the new Lamborghini hybrid highway and then they give you aha there's the full rewards car plus victory points gold currency and racing dollars All right and then the next we've got the British Grand Prix and that one you know what's up right A tuning setup right and then you got the limited time series after that and another time trial the Formula E time trial Followed by the final limited time series featuring McLaren Senna. Right. What do you win? Just that for participating, I guess. I'm sure there's a gold award too. But yeah, that's uh, kind of nice. They give us a full calendar on this hub. So, not bad. Not bad. Alright, so that, uh, I guess, will do it for this video this video went on way longer than I had anticipated but uh, I mean there was a lot to unpack so um, coming up next I guess I will actually try to make some progress in this first uh, special event so we'll catch you guys in most likely the overview video for what do they call it the 
Formula One, yeah, that one, where you get to earn the eSports Challenger, that one, right. So, anyway, if you stick, uh, if you watched this video all the way through here, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, that'll do it for me in this video. So, take care, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.